Hey everybody and welcome back to Play It Again. I'm Sue. Thank you so very much for joining me today. I really, really do appreciate it and I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Okay, today we are getting into an artist that we have never done on the channel before. Today we are looking at the amazing Lou Reed and the song we're going to do is his classic Walk on the Wild Side. This was a cutting edge song back in the day. This song came out in 1972, I believe, and this is going to be a fun one to review. Okay, but before we get going, if you could like my video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so, I would really appreciate it. All right, here we go. We are going to look at Lou Reed, Walk on the Wild Side, 1972. Here we go. Miami FLA Hitchhiked away across USA Plucked her eyebrows on the way Shaved her legs and then he was a she She says, hey babe Take a walk on the wild side Said, hey honey Take a walk on the wild side Candy came from out on the island In the back room she was everybody's darling But she never lost her head Even when she was given head She says, hey babe, take a walk on the wild side Said, hey babe, take a walk on the wild side And the colored girls go do 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 Little Joe never once gave it away Everybody had to pay and pay A hustle here and a hustle there New York City is the place where they said Hey babe, take a walk on the wild side I said, hey Joe, take a walk on the wild side Oh, this is a great song. I really, really like this song. It's very cool. And, you know, you got to think the lyrics in this song. This came out in 1972 and was played on mostly on FM radio. But the fact that this song came out in 1972, we're talking over 50 years ago. And that with these lyrics, this song made it on the radio. That is absolutely astonishing because there's some really cutting edge stuff in this song and you would not have thought that this would have made it onto the radio so you know kudos to him for getting this on the radio but what a cool song and you know breaking ground for you know so many different groups of people but absolutely amazing love the bass line in this song it's so cool and the backup singers in this just add that extra little touch uh you know lou reed's voice he quite often sounded very kind of you know monotone a lot of the time he didn't have a, a big range in his voice but there's something about his voice that i find very appealing i loved the velvet underground that they, they had some amazing stuff way beyond their time they were so forward thinking and just absolutely influential to so many bands and Lou Reed was one of the big you know influences there for that particular band and he did a lot of really cool stuff on his own and this was one of those songs anyway I'm going to rewind it just a wee bit and let's get back into this classic take a walk on the wild side I said hey Joe take a walk on the wild side Sugar Plum Fairy came and hit the streets Looking for soul food and a place to eat Went to the 
Apollo, you should have seen him go, go, go. They said, hey, sugar, take a walk on the wild side. I said, hey, babe, take a walk on the wild side. All right. Huh. Jackie is just speeding away. Thought she was Jim Dean for a day. Then I guess she had to crash. Valium would have helped that patch. I said, hey, babe, take a walk on the wild side. I said, hey, honey, take a walk on the wild side. And the colored girls say, do, 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 how it went out on a little sax solo. It's not the kind of instrument you would necessarily have uh, associated with Lou Reed, but he was always doing some different stuff and you never knew what to expect from Lou Reed. Absolutely a genius when it came to music. And they called him the godfather of punk. And uh, you can see why, because a lot of this stuff that he tackled when he was in the Velvet Underground in the 19. 60s and then even in the early 70s was some edgy stuff and a lot of things that they dealt with prostitution and drug addiction and all kinds of other kind of dark kind of themes which gave them that very kind of punk-esque kind of feeling because you know those were the kinds of things that the punk rock movement kind of glommed onto later on so well uh, you know well appointed to be the godfather of punk i think Anyway, so cool. Really, really enjoyed that song. And uh, yeah, it's just fun to revisit that one. Anyway, my fun fact for the day is that we know that Andy Warhol was a big kind of kind of guy for pe just grabbing on to people who were avant-garde, whether they were artists or musicians and, and actress, uh, actors and actresses. And the Velvet Underground, and of course Lou Reed being in the Velvet Underground, they spent a lot of time at, at Andy Warhol's factory. And a number of other people did as well. And the people that were mentioned in this particular song, like Candy and Holly and Jackie, those were real people. And those people actually hung out at the factory with Andy Warhol and Lou Reed. And this is where Lou Reed had met these people. And so he decided he was going to write a song about them. They were all drag queens. And interestingly enough, they were also in a movie called Woman, Women in Revolt, which it was a 1972 movie that Andy Warhol did. And uh, so I thought that was kind of cool that these people were not just made up. They were actually real people who actually were in a few different movies. Anyway, uh, I love that. That was great. If you'd like me to do some more, uh, Lou Reed, put it down in the comments. I'd be more than happy to do it. All right, everybody, have a joyful day, and I will see you all again next time. Bye-bye.